going to report to you as we have some meeting on our discussions in Moscow. But first, I want to commend Bob Michael and Trent Lott, Daryl Latta, mm -hmm. and others in the House leadership for such a good showing of Republican unity during action two weeks ago on the Democrats' budget resolution. <coughs> the budget you fought against, I think, is a catalog of all the wrong priorities. First, big defense cuts at a critical time in our discussions with the Soviets. It's a lousy way to go into a negotiation with them doing what they were doing to us. And second, tax increases on the heels of tax reform. Those who fought tax reform last year just won't give up this campaign to raise taxes. And third, domestic spending increases that add to the, to the deficit. And now in the Senate, Bob, I understand that the Budget Committee of Democrats refused to date Pete Domenici's warnings that they have been recommended a plan to the Senate that's similar to that adopted in the House. Well, I think we're in a strong position to stick together and oppose any of these plans to raise taxes and gut defense. And I hope that you and the Senate will turn aside the pleas of those who say, let's make a deal. Believe me, there's no deal that I think can be made on these scores. We do need to fix the process. It's broke now, and the country's paying a steep price. And once we achieve permanent and fundamental reforms, then perhaps we can have the tools to get on with the deficit reduction in the right way by cutting spending, not raising taxes. And the floor is open for anyone who wants to comment on that. I think it's a key issue before us, and I think that we've got a lot of educating the public to do on, on what the problem is. Okay, can I just say, since the House finished the budget, uh, we may get it up this week, I guess. Hi. Hi. Hello there. How are you? Good to see you again. Sons Hiranobu and Shinzo are <laughs> soon going to be married. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it is uh, more than great honor for them, I think, that you have mentioned it. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, then in a very short time, Thank you. 
I know. <laughs> so I, I've been speechless too. I don't know how you did, but I <laughs> I managed to scrape through that and I the physics being a problem. Thank you very much. Bye. Did you ever hear of a poem called Teacher? Written by Clark Mayo. It was a newspaper. Press Christmas. I and I think this is an occasion to do so. Well, let me meet others here first, please. Yes. Helen Cole, good say. Mary Fiore with the housekeeping. Hello. Nice to see you. You didn't offer me to be those guys. How do you do? Uh, Greg Cook, State Superintendent of Construction. Good to see you. Don Pring, Donna's principal. Nice to see you. Joe St. Clair, Darling, here's Courtney. I know you. Yes. <laughs> I have to read this home. And I'm surprised that more people aren't ever become aware of it. It's called Teacher. You are the molders of their dreams, the gods who build or crush their young beliefs of right or wrong. You are the spark that sets aflame the poet's hand or lights the flame of some great singer's song. You are the god of the young, the very young. You are the guardians of a million dreams. Your every smile or frown can heal or pierce a heart. Yours are a hundred lives, a thousand lives. Yours the pride of loving them, the sorrow too. Your patient work, your touch, makes you the god of hope that fills their souls with dreams to make those dreams come true. And let me say to you that because I teach, I can dream and thank you really much. I accept this award as a symbol in recognition of all of America's finest teachers and thank you for recognizing me. Well, I'm very pleased and honored to be able to do that. Thank you for that. And on behalf of the state of North Carolina, I would like to present you as a symbol of appreciation for what we do for educators and teachers. Well, thank you very much. I am very pleased to add this to what is uh, something of a little collection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad to, to be in the number. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Very pleased. Mr. President, we're going to do a, one big group photo here. So we're going to have you center on the door, and we'll have some of them gather on the right side here. <laughs> Let's get the uh, maybe two of you down to this end. Yeah, just squeeze in as tight as you can get.
right here. That's it. All right, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, ye